This is super glitchy. Watch what happens to this right tackle here because of the vertical hook. Basically, he's going to react to that vertical hook and block nobody. The second the play starts, that vertical hook drops back, and he lets the A-gap linebacker go right past, and he lets the outside linebacker go right around him while he just stands there and blocks nobody. We're going to see the exact same reaction in the replay on the left side this time. The left tackle is going to have the exact same reaction to that hook curl. He's basically just going to let this guy run right past him. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new defense for you guys today. A full scheme I'm going to give you guys. They all are from my Dolphins slash Giants ebook that I put out at the beginning of the year. And they've been in the playbook pretty much the entire year. But I'm going to bring that to you guys today. This is a really good run defense, pass defense, and blitz Woo! all in the same scheme. If you guys want to see more defensive plays, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the formation. The formation itself is the 3-4 odd. Now, today I'm going to show you guys two different defenses. I'm going to show you... Uh, play that's primarily a pass defense which is the pinch dog to press i already put this particular play out but i got a brand new setup for it that actually allows you one additional coverage player that i didn't have in the original video so i'm going to show you guys a new setup for this defense it's still my go-to defense still one of my favorite defenses in the original video I also said you can do the exact same thing out of the pinch dog three so you still can so if you like cover three whether you like cover three you like cover two you're going to be able to do this exact same trick in both then i'm going to show you guys a base defense slash run defense which you can blitz out of but you can also really use mostly for run defense so it's really about these two plays it's going to be mostly about the pinch dog to press and the cover four drop show two these are the two plays i run the most throughout the entire game if i think my opponent's running i'm going to run the cover four if i think my opponent's passing i'm going to use the cover two you also have the option for the cover four quarters which to me is an easily glitched out defense essentially i'm going to be using the cover four drop show two if i want to have more of a deep passing uh defense if i want more of an intermediate coverage when it comes to passing i might go to the cover four quarters but ultimately that's that's pretty much how I run this entire setup. Now, I went ahead and I chose random gun. Uh, and the first play here is going to be an empty backfield look, but that doesn't really matter. So ultimately, I'm just going to do the exact same setup that I did before. I'm going to base the line, show blitz, and that's going to basically set this uh, this pre-snap defense up. The only real change that I, I'm going to make, I mean, the original video that I showed you guys, I blitzed all linebackers and I guessed pass. That's pretty much going to be the setup now. But now I realize, and it's not just because I have an empty backfield look, but I've noticed and I've been using this a lot online, that when I bring up my defensive ends, I have the option option to drop one of these guys back straight into a vertical hook and I can still have success. Typically what I do is whatever side has the most receivers, I will drop the defensive end back into a vertical hook and you'll see that it basically just gives me an extra defender. Before I started doing this, I was pretty much on an island. I was the only person I would stay in this gap, then I would drop back uh, and try to cover the middle by myself. Now I have the ability to do that. And you can see we're really have we're gonna have a five man blitz that will get the exact same amount of pressure as the previous six or seven man blitz, which is essentially what it thinks it is because I'm on a blitz. And you'll see we get much much better coverage. So like I said, just make sure that you uh, guess pass. And this is pretty much gonna be it. I'm gonna have to stay home for about a half a second before I drop back. You can see the defensive end comes right off the edge uh, and they're basically just chucking it up into the zone. I, I played that poorly. So here we go again. We're gonna give our it's a quick setup too which is something that's helpful we're going to give ourselves the vertical hook on the defensive end over the over the bunch and like i said that'll free me up a little bit 
on the other side here. I got to either follow the running back or, you know, just basically play right over the middle. And you can see we get some crazy pressure. I think we had two guys coming in there, which, like I said, we only have five guys coming. So watch what happens here. This is super glitchy. Watch what happens to this right tackle here because of the vertical hook. Basically, he's going to react to that vertical hook and block nobody. The second the play starts, that vertical hook drops back and he lets the A-gap linebacker go right past and he lets the outside linebacker go right around him while he just stands there and blocks nobody. So I'm just going to do this one more time. I'm not going to do a, do this a lot because ultimately I already showed this play. This is just an additional step to give you more coverage. Uh, once again, I have three receivers on the left side. So I'm going to come over here, be this linebacker, drop this defensive end back. Like I said, this just gives me more opportunity to freelance. If I feel the need to chase that running back down, I can do that. Um, you know, there's all types of stuff I can nope. do here. And you can see that must have been pressure related because you got rid of the ball instantly. So we're going to see the exact same reaction in the replay on the left side this time. The left tackle is going to have the exact same reaction to that hook curl he's basically just going to let this guy run right past him and the quarterback has to just chuck it up right away because we have an instant a gap if you look at the rest of this play the uh, the running back here is uh pass blocked as well so we got six blockers only five rushers and we still get a free man in so only four men get blocked so that's the blitz and the pass defense like i said in the original video you can do the exact same setup in the cover three, I would just say the real difference is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this safety here is more towards the center. You don't want him down the box like that. Uh, but you can do the exact same thing. So like right here, I would basically uh, use this guy here because there's three receivers on the other side and then drop this guy into a hook. It just gives me opportunities for much more uh, coverage. So basically I could, you know, I can come deep middle here. I don't really have a seam flat outside on the left side, but you know, these are all things that I mean, if I really wanted to, I could put this defensive end on a curl flat i just think that it probably doesn't react the same way but if you like cover three there's way to adapt this to cover three me personally i think that the cover two has much better coverage options especially for short throws i mean i can go hard flat oppose a soft squat and stuff like that this to me is the best way to go the best defense to go but that's the pass defense so let's go ahead and let's show the setup for the run defense let's go ahead and let's go cover four drop show two on the offensive side we're just going to go concept we'll go uh, random run now this play here the setup's pretty easy because i've been doing it a lot you're going to want to pinch your entire defense, which is going to be R1 or the right bumper, then down on the left stick. That's going to bring everybody down. Then I'm going to show blitz. I'm sorry, base line, show blitz, base line. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring the safeties down, but it won't bring the cornerbacks down. And now you can see we really have a tightly packed box. I mean, if I really want to, after that, I could bring these safeties in even more. Uh, but that's pretty much going to be the base setup. After that, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's really on me. Now, I like the way that I have the, um, the, the defensive end in a you know, QB contain. I like that. But I would like some hard flats for outside runs. Uh, so I typically will, will you know, play underneath. And then that's pretty much it. As long as I don't guess pass in this particular formation, or this particular play, these uh, safeties will, will shoot down and play the run, which is the whole point of this. And you can see I have them super close to the line of scrimmage. I don't really have any concern that they're going to get beat on pass plays because that's the real issue with the cornerbacks is if they're down pressed like this, they, they can get beat on simple streaks by really fast receivers. But they're playing back. So they'll play the pass outside well. The safeties have plenty of time to either react to run or pass and then get back into their zones. And then you're going to see we just have a super tight run defense. There's not really going to be anything you can do to run the ball against this. So, you know, got to got to do this first, though. That's something that I really didn't do. So here we go. You always want to pinch first. So this is the look. Like I said, we're pretty sure we're going to get a, a run play because I picked random run. I typically keep playing the same guy. I'm not, I don't want to set this up. I want to let the defense take care of itself. You can see we're getting a dynamic run defense. So real quick and easy setup, like I said, you want your cornerbacks back, you want your safeties down, you do not want to guess pass, as long as you don't guess pass, these safeties are going to take care of the play, although there I actually beat them to it, but the safety was walking down, uh, which is something that I've gone over quite a bit, but let's go and let's go to the replay. Like I said, in this defense, this is the only defense where these safeties here will walk down as the play's developing and fill lanes. You can see right there, I mean, I just kind of jumped it. But even if I didn't, that safety was gonna be there, that defensive end was gonna be there, and the cornerbacks are the only guys to actually play the pass. These are the only guys out here that will immediately drop back like it's a pass play, which means you won't have to worry about giving them any deep plays. But the MVP of this particular defense is the fact that as long as you don't get past, these safeties will drop down the box and they will try to make plays against the run first. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys wanna see more defenses like this, hit the like button 
and let me know in the comment section as always. Other than that, I'll try to have a little link popping up here so you guys can check out more defensive videos from this playbook or it'll be in the description below. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.